Wokna Lee University. My name's Conrad Lee. Bill Parker University. My name is Conrad Lane. That's number five right behind me. And I'm going to give you five tips to succeed on the hire car. Five tips. First tip, take good pictures. Get your car, make sure it's washed, clean, vacuumed, sweet, everything. Make sure it's completely clean. Take pictures of it in sunlight. That way, take a picture of the front of the car, the side of the car, left and right side, and the back of the car. You upload to the hire car platform. First tip. Second tip, on your actual pictures, type in, it can even be on your phone, type in what your car offers. That way, when someone sees your car, they'll see not only the beautiful picture you just took as tip one stipulated, they'll also see, hey, this offers unlimited miles, or hey, this offers um, really great uh, gas mileage, uh, or hey, this offers this amount of miles, or hey, this offers extra uh, charge cables. Maybe you know that this person or your marketing outlet maybe uh, USB maybe for Apple and Samsung or some type of Android phone leaving in the car for them or charger hey this car also also gives you free complimentary hand sanitizer mask list whatever your benefits car uh, benefits that your car offers in that second picture but type it in if you're cropping a picture on your phone just type in in the text may put it in red put it in green put it there and type on the picture what your car offers tip number three what you want to start doing to really increase your business, start going to your local uh, restaurants, grocery stores, um, anywhere uh, that actually um, delivers uh, or that actually cooks food or it's grocery stores. The reason why this is because Uber Eats, uh, Postmates, DoorDash, Grubhub, if you know what those companies are, those are ride share companies. And oftentimes, the people that rent cars on the hire car drive for Uber and Lyft, but they also work on uh, food delivery apps. So what you want to do is you want to start going to those local areas, maybe five to 10 mile radius around you that your rent is going to be meeting in or all over the place, wherever you feel your rent is going to be. And then you get their contact say, hey, do you guys deliver with Postmates or Uber Eats? Girl, if they say yes, you want to create a business card. All you have to do is put on a business card, put the cars that you offer, Say you own one car, two car, three car, put all your cars you offer, the year make a model, and offer, uh, put on hire car, and put your phone number there to create a flyer, like an eight by 10 piece of paper with your information on it, print it nicely, give it to the management or give it to the grocery store, talk to them. You'll probably get a lot of no's, but it's all about the yes. The yes is all the way the no's. And then what you wanna do is within the five to 10 mile radius, I'll even go 20 mile radius, you print all these papers on these flyers, you ask them for prints, you can you post this here. So when people pick up food for these apps, they'll see your advertising. Hey, pay cheap or pay uh, through pay car lane to rent a car so you don't have to use your own car. Or hey, if you don't own a car and you need a car to drive for Uber or Lyft or to drive to make money in the economy or for Amazon Flex, etc., rent my car for Conrad Lane. That's tip number three. Tip number four, what you essentially want to do is you want to make sure you go a step further and what you uh, actually do at this point is you download Postmates, Uber, Lyft, Uber Eats, uh, Grubhub, DoorDash, and for the food delivery apps, you want to start figuring out reverse engineer. Now, not only that you knew you went into the five to mile radius of restaurants in your area or grocery stores, you find out who actually does deliver. So for example, if you're on Shipt, which is which S H I P T, which is another app, or if you're on Uber Eats or DoorDash, you pretend that you're ordering something. Don't order anything unless you want to. Maybe you're hungry or you're thirsty. And you just learn the mechanics of the app. And what you want to do is you want to see in the radius, the five to 10 miles that you went from tip number three, and that radius, find all the McDonald's, find all the Burger Kings, find all the other uh, apps and companies that are using the app services that maybe you were not aware of, and just highlight it and you go to those areas and leave more advertisers like you did in number three. So number three is similar to number four. Number three, you just simply just go to all the areas you know right from this vision, like the grocery stores, the restaurants, wherever you know. Uh, number four is all the other companies that you don't know, the ghost kitchens. For those that don't know what ghost kitchens are, those are uh, establishments that have no real branding on the outside, but usually like a conglomerate of maybe five to maybe 20 different restaurants that work under one cloud kitchen or ghost kitchen as they're called, or shadow kitchen, and it's all these different companies. You'll have Pizza Hut in there, for example. You'll have some other, maybe Indian food place, maybe a Pakistani food place, maybe a burger place in there, maybe a pizza place, maybe some Italiano place. You'll have all these Mexicano also. You have all these different food establishments, dessert spots, in one, one kitchen, they often do that so they save money on 
spending for an actual location, but they work with these companies for Postmates, Uber Eats, DoorDash, Grubhub. Now you can go to these secret locations with the app because now you're ordering like if you're a customer which highlights all the areas in your radius and I go to these areas, leave the branding, leave your advertising, you print an 8x10 paper plus business cards with your name, with the cards you offer and basically it's a find you on hire car. That's how you do it and that's, that's a cool thing so they can call you directly or they can find you on hire car that way. And tip number five, most of all, is you always want to call a uh, hire car anytime you get a reservation, call the hire car and say, hey, this guest that I got, have they ever stolen the car before? Do they have anything on their record? Do they have any driving record um, penalties or tickets? Do they, uh, did they pay their past hire car rental on time? Were they late? And hire car will give you all this information. Most hire car owners don't know they could do this, but remember they do give them a background check. So what you want to do is say, hey, what's the details of the background check? They say it's clear, great. Now, hey, maybe this is their first time renting on hire car, so there won't be no record of them, but you want it, it doesn't hurt to ask. But especially if there's a hire car renter who, hey, this happened to me where there's been a hire car renter who stole a car, who didn't, who paid late all the time, and I asked, I found this out, I didn't know that. I did, I'd say, I don't want to rent to this person. Take control of it. Really safeguard yourself and understand what the report says. This hacker has all the information. Call Hirecard directly and say, hey, this person wants my vehicle. Have they stolen the car before? Have they rented the car before? Have they paid on time? Have they paid uh, have they paid late? And if they start paying late, I start getting kind of suspicious. I'm like, I don't want this person. And that's five tips to success. Like number five, you have me. Like, subscribe, share, follow me on TikTok and TikTok at C O N R A D L A Y N. Follow me on Instagram at C O N R A D L A Y N. Subscribe to my channel on YouTube, Conrad Lane's the name. Like, subscribe, share. And let's get the six-figure wealth. Let's get these riches. Like, subscribe, share. Welcome to Lane Hiker University. Conrad Lane out. Deuces.